Hello there. Today, we'll show you how to distinguish the real from the fake. IEM's X Series Wide Bandwidth Part Number 320300, not the obvious ones, but the subtle differences between almost identical IEM X Series Wide Band gauges. In general, you will notice many differences on all sides of the boxes. From numbers and incorrect placements to even graphical differences. Even the size is a bit different. However, the most striking difference is in the AEM logo. Now, let's examine the contents. The first two major differences we observe are, a different color on the inner side of the box. And the second is the plastic wrap around the counterfeit gauge. The size difference on the installation threads can significantly affect the performance and potentially damage our sensor. The genuine sensor cable is sealed in a plastic bag, so we need to use another one that is already open. Not many differences in the sensor cable aside from the different protective material, which is more flexible on the counterfeit one. Similar to the power cable, most of the plugs and pins are the same, the protective cable is the same as we previously observed more flexible on the counterfeit. It's worth mentioning that both genuine cables have the part number tag attached. The genuine cable features additional protection with soldered ends and to prevent any interference, the combust cables are twisted together. Lambda sensors exhibit obvious differences, including variations in size, shape, logos and the use of a tie wrap to secure the fake Lambda sensor. Nowadays, AEM uses the powerful FAE-AEM Lambda sensor, offering greater durability and better performance. The counterfeit one has a plastic wrapper, which AEM never uses. Small differences include the color and font of the AEM logo.
Now, let's test both gauges and evaluate their performance. By using the lighter's gas, we can simulate the sensor measuring the fuel mixture. As you can see, the genuine gauge has brighter colors and responds slightly faster.